Oh, okay, you good? That's why they call these adventure rides. You never know what's gonna happen. Throttle tube might come loose. Ugh. Muffler might come off. Might poke a hole in your gas tank. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Each Adventure Channel. My name is Josh and uh, today we're out in Anza Borrego State Park. So this trip actually started out in Akatia Wells which is part of the Anza Borrego Desert State Park but uh, we just passed through the western border at the end of Akatia Wells so we're now on a street legal vehicle only uh, road. So this is pretty cool. I've actually never explored any of these parts. Most of the stuff that we did at Akatia today I've been to before in some way or another. But uh, Anza Borrego is the largest state park in California. And so it's made up of a lot of different types of terrain, various landscapes and such, and a lot of cool dirt roads and washes that lead out to those destinations. So if you like the desert and riding sand washes, which I know a lot of these guys do, it's uh, definitely worth checking out if you live out here. This is pretty cool. A lot of this, uh, like little canyons and stuff that get cut by these washes. See, there's a Jeep coming that way. Looks like we may have lost somebody. Wait here for a minute just to see if they come, just in case the other guys come back. rides. You never know what's gonna happen. Throttle tube might come loose. Ugh. Muffler might come off. Might poke a hole in your gas tank. I had somebody ask how the DRZ gas tank's doing. It's doing good. A little bit of JB Weld. And it's good as new. Good as new, but we're still gonna get the tank. I think, I thought they went this way, but I saw Tom go that way. Go back? Yeah. Well, I think we're all kinds of lost. Oh yeah, here he comes. When I, when I turned around, because I saw you stop, yeah. that they were headed this way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's not enough tracks up there. Okay. That's why I was coming back. All right, let's roll. Woo! <laughs> Almost dropped a DRZ. I haven't dropped it today, which is very unlike me. Sand is generally not my terrain. It involves me falling and stuff. But yeah, I took uh, a device from an old Everride video and kind of found another another video where the guy had made a template and uh, fashioned this windscreen out of a trash can. 
So I bought a seven and a half gallon uh, Sterilite trash can from Walmart. It was about 10 bucks. I already had some dual lock. Uh, cut out the template. And the very first one that I did, I actually snapped it trying to bend it. Basically the, the trick to bending it was to use a heat gun. So if you use a heat gun before you bend it, it'll make it more pliable. And then the, uh, you'll get this kind of like this perfect shape. It actually turned out really, really nice. a cool route. Very cool route actually. Ooh. You guys okay? Yeah. Uh, Mike's throttle tube came loose. Uh, yeah. Did you guys adjust it? Yeah, I think you fixed it. This almost looks like snow on these mountains, or on these hills. I don't know if it's like salt. I'm guessing it's salt. It's freaking cool looking though. It's like an oasis. Very cool. So unfortunately, I don't know where we are in Anzaburigo. Normally when I do these kind of videos that don't really have much of a topic, I at least try to, you know, talk about some of the stuff, where we're at, some interesting facts. Uh, but to be honest, I, I had no idea what to expect for today. I just heard, we're going to Akatia Wells, and I was like, sweet! I love Akatia Wells! Yeah, how cool is this? One cool thing is it is relatively well marked from my understanding, so at some point there should be a tr some kind of trail crossing, and uh, we'll be able to tell exactly where we are. But until then, just kind of enjoy the view. Try to stay out of the dust if we can. Ooh, big rocks, big rocks. God. Man, I've gotten real close to going down a lot today. And I don't know how I've been doing it, but I've been managing to save it. And I'm almost, I'm almost thinking it would hurt less just to go down. I don't use those reactionary muscles all, all that often. Plus, crashes look way cooler for the channel. You know? JK, JK. Okay, woo! High speed desert washes are not my thing. I will say, however, though, I'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> that I haven't fallen today. And I'm also pleasantly surprised that I haven't fallen. <laughs> uh, this is good stuff though. I've been needing to ride stuff like this. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> That's so fun. You gotta get those, those motocross style turns. Stick your front leg out, or stick your leg out front. Just let the back do all the work. Helps keep that front end planted. Actually, uh, a video that explains this really well, there's an Everide video with freaking Jim, AKA uh, Torture Test Magazine, where he kind of covers cornering detail so I've been trying to do that with uh, some of these slower turns when I'm sitting obviously it doesn't work when standing but when you're sitting it could be a really good uh, really good technique it's a good video overall so uh, check that out if you haven't seen it 
it's so awkward though like I've said it before but when you're riding a motorcycle especially when you're riding on something like sand like this like loose sand man you have to fight every instinct in your body to do what you what you think you should do like quickly turn the bars or slam on the brakes or even slow down you gotta you gotta work against all of that because riding a dirt bike is so mental it really messes with your mind in terms of uh how you're supposed to control the bike. Looks like we're coming up on a camping area of some sort. Stop and wait for these guys. We've got some rain recently, so you can see some of these desert flowers. Those purple ones over there. It's pretty cool. I don't want to get off and hold the guys up if they show up, but you should be able to see them. It's pretty neat. Just purple flowers out in the middle of the desert. I said it in another video, but it's really crazy, like what you come across when you're riding out here. You know, you wouldn't think there'd be much in terms of uh, things you could see and look at, but... Turns out there's quite a bit. And it's awesome. I didn't realize you guys were waiting right here. I was right around that corner, oh. <laughs> waiting for them. Yeah? Sounds good to me. As long as I don't run out of gas, I'm up for anything. than it looks guys. justify it for how much road that I ride considering that it says uh, for off-road use only. I know it probably has to do with something with liability and certification and stuff like that but you know definitely would be helpful right about now though. Need to look a little farther ahead too I think that's part of my problem. Too worried about every little rut and rock and all that stuff. Man, this is freaking cool though. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, man. All this rustling around with the DRZ.
Check that out though. Awesome area for sure. But I think we've seen quite a bit, and this video is getting really long. So I figured this would be a good spot just to go ahead and end it right here. With these cool freaking mud hills, these awesome little sand washes, these cool canyons, all the coolness that is uh, motorcycle riding. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed yourself today, please feel free to give me a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share, you know, join us on these uh, adventures. We like to do these adventures typically on a weekly basis, and uh, we'd love to have you along for the ride if you're new. We'd love to have you stick around if you've been here for a while, and uh, yeah, if you want to see more, check out the other videos on the channel. But anyways guys, as always, be sure to have fun, take care, and ride safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, be sure to get out there and have adventures of your own. And I will see you guys next time. Woo!